Uh, welcome back to the Lost Levels. I'm still hot and bothered. Let's play this game. Here we go! <laughs> but weeks after, it's been continuously haunting his dreams, knowing that one day, he's gonna have to come back to this exact image. A death. World 7-2 wow, has what, begun, what a, what a great, phenomenal start. Like, this is what happens when you don't warm up before you play a game right here. But that's what the that's why people have been constantly watching you play this, oh. more than almost anything else we've been doing so far. Oh. People just love to see your inner rage, probably as much as I'm sure they love seeing my inner rage with blast chambers. Like, that was an experience I'll soon never forget whatsoever. Oh, yeah, uh, follow up on that. I took that game over to my sister's house because that's the game that me and her, like, we're just trying to find for years uh-huh because just just the nature of the game it's really hard game to look up and we played it together and she fucking hated it, it was like <laughs> wow so this game is awful i was like <laughs> i i knew I, i'm sorry well it's just it's one of those and we were literally just talking it like seconds ago it doesn't matter how bad a game really is we'll still play it and keep it like there's just something about having games like you've got all the really bad like nes games i still got friday the 13th along with some other really shit fest games oh my word Close. that's such horse shit because what if he's not out of the pipe and mm -hmm. i get there then oh. i think it's another one of those where you have to like go a certain distance to like view what he's doing ahead of time much like you had to do with the flying koopa at the End of the oh well, well that's one of the whole stage resets I guess, but um no like fucking who cares if a game sucks like still play it, I mean or at least still at least own it I guess is probably the best way to put it like you know I got many games that I refuse to play and it's just for the sake of just being like yeah well I mean I have it like that's really that all that really matters to me. <laughs> Yep, we're slowly losing it. All right. Okay, okay, focus here. I, I'm only a world out. Can we not reach that point? We gotta get there. I don't even like, wanna know how hard world eight is gonna be. That's how you have to do that. You have to like, give it a second because that first Koopa needs to be as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. So I've been like trying to pitch this idea to Will like for a while and like, I guess, I've always wanted to do it because it's always kind of the direction I've wanted to head it with my own playthroughs. Besides, obviously, playing just a bunch of... Oh, motherfucker. Besides just playing... A, and he fucking screwed me! Yep, he just lost anyway, you. so, we wanted to, I wanted to always do... Because I haven't touched the game ever since a certain point, but I've always wanted to do, like, a horror game with you, like, in a... We'd always have to... It'd have to be exclusively, like, a dark and all that nonsense, but, mm -hmm. um, like amnesia or like even the new soma or like Ooh. something like that but obviously i'd be the one playing it because Will, will's not <laughs> in that kind of stuff or like we could run through i mean i don't really think it would be a good playthrough because like i've said it a thousand times before if i play five nights at freddy's one you guys are going to be like wow this is boring because i know that game inside now maybe five nights at freddy's two three definitely because it's just you haven't strategy played four yet, have i have you? not played four so maybe yet. we could do that Mother. That, that that could be something. Yeah. You know, after you beat three, like, your first reactions of four could be yeah. a thing. Because the only thing that would be hard about that is that that would be one of those instances where, like, when we do the playthrough, because that one's all about listening, it would be kind of quiet during some parts, because it would be... That's God knows I'll game. probably get a scream. Oh, my God. That game... I don't even want to think about it. That's one of the I'm, ones where I haven't... Like, I'm actually kind of nervous to play it, because it's actually scary. I've only seen... Like, footage of it via uh, Johnny's review of it and oh, the weird Markiplier with Jack Black playing it. And I couldn't even, like, watch it. Well, at least, like, the playthrough. Like, Johnny's I could watch it because he promises no jump scares and he truly means that. And God bless you, by the way, for that. Wasn't there a f spinning fire thing? Yeah, I guess the okay. game was... Uh, oh! oh! Suck a donkey dong! Ooh. You know, and God, again, God bless you for not actually throwing in jump scares because my poor fucking heart can't take okay, it. Okay, this is yeah, the one. this is where yeah, go as like as close as you can. Oh my God, even uh, there we go. Now you'd be able to time it. 
But no, the Markiplier one, I mean, I couldn't like physically watch it. All I could do is sit and listen. And then when I heard them scream, I could mentally prepare myself for it actually happening. And even then I would still like jerk a little bit. And, but th those are like the only instances of Five, Night Five Nights at Freddy's 4 that I've ever seen. So if, if I did watch you do it, like, oh my God, the amount of screaming I would probably do alone would be something else. Speaking of that, however, it reminded me because we kind of did botch something because I remembered saying that if you're ever going to come back to the channel um, and don't don't say the name of the game because I don't want to spoil it for the fans yet. We could probably save it for another time. But remember, there was that one game I really wanted us to play drunk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, yeah, that was yeah, supposed yeah. to be like, you know, when you came back, it was supposed to be like a bit of a joke thing about you getting drunk about coming back and whatnot. But um, we could probably save it for like a St. Patrick's Day because everyone and their grandmother does drunk Let's Plays on St. Patrick's Day. So we could probably save it for then. Or we could do it like maybe... Actually, probably not even wait that long. We could probably do it for like a New Year's Eve sort of thing. People get drunk on New Year's Eve. Um, which means we have to start playing it at a time. I think this is a leap of faith. Nice. Thank God. Get me through that bullshit. Anyway, yeah. Whoa. Odell Beckham Jr. looked pissed there. What the fuck? Anyways, aside from the football, yeah, we could probably just, like, play it, like, during December sometime and then have it start releasing on New Year's. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea, and I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll get drunk one day in December and just record as much of it as we can and then start bringing it out on New Year's. Just a nice drunk let's play as in, welcome to the new year of the channel. This is probably gonna be as good as it's gonna get sort of thing. I hate these win levels for this exact reason because so much of it is pure leaps of faith. Like you have to essentially, like every single one of them, it's like you just can't stop. Very nicely done. Oh! No, please go. <laughs> no, I was say you're gonna you're gonna make it. It always seems to like launch you high enough, but those high platforms are like in such a way where if you miss it, you're probably screwed. Oh! Look at that. Like if you would have missed that. Okay, please tell me this level's not that long. This is obnoxious. Okay, well at least you have a pure flatland there. Oh. And then there's oh. a flower. Oh. And he waited. Like, till I was, like, Until mid. Oh, you man. You were pure taint level. Well, at least it starts you here. <laughs> oh, and then you died, dude. Now you lost it. Wait, no, I think, Yeah. Oh, oh, that is, like, the best explanation ever. You were at pure taint, taint level. level. Right. <laughs> he could just taste it right there. <laughs> oh, slick. Dude, they can't handle these sweet... Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I like how you knew it immediately, too, because you forgot about that one point. There's but. a point of overcommit where you're just like, yep, I'm, I'm fucked. Well, and it's funny because, like... See, now I'm going to be able to go past it because I got the perfect Well, jump. yeah, no, because you know, yeah, and you know, know about it ahead of time. It's funny that you say the, like, the path of no return because it just reminds me... God, what year was it? I want to say I was still in high school at the time, but it was during the Winter Olympics, and they always have those snowmobiling like you know you're going around and you're doing your tricks and whatnot and this fucking guy it was like the purest sense of why didn't you just commit because you like seeing well, like they'll start doing a backflip or a double backflip and then halfway through they suddenly think to themselves this is a terrible idea and then start going forward which oh. I, I had no idea where I was. I hate I this. Know. Okay, anyway, yeah. Because like the screen locks, so it's like impossible. But and I see this guy, and like I'm thinking to myself as he's doing it, like I see him go back, and I see that point where he just hesitates and starts going forward, and I'm like, he is going to eat shit. And he landed like head first onto the ground snowmobile lands on top of him like ambulance comes out everyone's freaking out and like i'm just sitting there like all i could Whoa. i fucking hate this fucking win mechanic
standing horse shit. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I know. But it's just so funny because, like you said, you hit that point where it's like there's no going back now. And to see somebody with a two-ton vehicle underneath them <laughs> not just say I'm committed now and just think maybe I can save this by going forward and making it worse on him by doing so, like... I don't know. For you just saying that just reminded me of that because I I just remember my sense of like immediately seeing where it all went wrong for that guy. Like I just looked at I'm just like this guy. Like it didn't even happen yet. Like just seeing him stop, I knew he was done for. Like that was it. It was almost like watching and I I know I'm pretty sure everyone saw it. I was especially creepy watching it live. That one skateboarder, I can't remember what his name was, but he was doing that like really big ass half pipe and then he lost his skateboard like what 50 feet in the air yeah and just straight drop like <laughs> and i'll give credit to jerry seinfeld for this particular joke but i'm sorry at that point, that helmet is wearing you for protection. <laughs> like, when you, you know, and again, uh, that's taken straight off of Jerry Seinfeld when he's talking about skydiving. Ooh. Where it's so funny, you know, skydivers are wearing helmets. And it's like, yeah, if your parachute doesn't go off, what's the point of having it sort of thing? But that's kind of just how I felt, because, like, you see that... 50 foot drop and you're just like what kind of padding could you wear that could save anything about that like i'm sorry even if you have a helmet you're gonna get a concussion <laughs> oh my god this is where it really starts folks you thought worlds one through six <laughs> like world it was either world five or world six where it like truly started i want to say it was world five where it truly truly started but I knew in the back of my head that six onward were gonna be the ones that just mentally broke you. I, I, I guess I guess this kind of game is the two the true let's see how far you go before you break <laughs> kind of game. You know, or at least the original on the NES that you can get on the virtual console. It's like if you can do this. I, actually, I have, I, have a, I have a plan. I have a plan, okay? So, you know how the screen never goes back even when you go back? Get the screen to where the screen, like, the furthest left has the platform and just hug left. Because <laughs> no matter what, idea. you're never going to go behind it. That's, like, the only thing I could think of. So, you're going to go far enough and then just hug left. No! Oh, it doesn't work. No! No, oh, no, no! I hate this wind mechanic! Okay, I think at this point you might as well just kill yourself because even if you make the halfway point, you have to do the whole other half with only two lives. I was just testing something there to see okay. how far it would go, yeah. Well, once again, it, it's one of those... It's a lot like when I was playing the new um, Punch-Out Wii. Um... Which I, I still need to get. I'm going to get Code Black to play it one of these days. It'll probably be what he plays after this. Um, unless he has something else in mind. But I've already beaten it. Well, at least the first half of it. And I'm not going to spoil anything for James on it. But I really want to see. Because you, really, you did like the first Punch-Out. Oh, yeah. I loved it, dude. Yeah. So, like, obviously this one would be something for you to definitely play. But, like... When I was playing it, whoo, um, there was always those one those boxers you went against, where if you got knocked down once, you just let him win because you needed like all three of your lives essentially is what they were. They're three knockouts, but essentially all three of your lives for like hit the, the boxers like super hard mode. I guess you could say. And that's just kind of how I felt when, like, watching this. It's like, well, you have two lives left. You need those for when you hit the second half of this, so...